guys, all the gamers here with another video, and today we are playing a new game, Space Food Truck. Well, yeah, that's it's not actually that new anymore, but still, I still would like to play it and do a series on it. If it's not like not funny or anything, I probably will continue with something else and con uh, cut this off sometime. I don't know yet. Don't count me on continuing this forever, but I will like see if I can get to through at least one like round of solid gameplay. Uh, to see if we can get any good endings. Uh, are we playing on uh, easy mode, by the way? Local play? Um, by the way, if the episode today is kind of boring, kind of bad or anything, uh, I had a migraine yesterday. I'm still not doing too good, but I didn't want to uh, like stop making videos because of that. So if I miss some energy today or anything, well, that's probably why. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, okay, let's read this. Ah, space. Spring crawled across its fastness on more exotic flavors than any single tongue might hope to fathom. We, the Galaxy Gourmet crew, risk our lives to bring the finest dishes from across the stars right to your home planet. And to earn money, we can repay our creditors for this very expensive ship. The captain has plotted our course, the chefs selected some signature recipes, the engineer says off systems are go, and the scientist... We prefer not to ask what he's up to anymore. All we're missing are fresh ingredients and hungry customers. Okay, let's start this. So, this ba game is basically a card game actually, which is kind of strange if you think about it. And you have to go all around this universe. To planets to collect cards to make food and to deliver food. Cyberpunk shouldn't have clicked that. Bogus Link hacks your discard pod, sucking a random card from your hand. Okay, so I took away a random card from my hand. In this case, it was a Taste of the Future, uh, which is the basic card starter card that you can pay stuff with. So basically, there are two values every time. There's the orange value, which is what the card is worth for using with other cards that need uh, power to play. And then there is a money symbol below that is basically how much it's worth for money to buy new cards. So first to go to Heffalum, uh, we need to make Heffalumps, which uh, need space kale and vegan mushrooms. So let's see, uh, play your play your tour field with Clue for three and visit the planets, uh, for ask around. Hmm, do we need anything for that? No we don't, that's always a good card to play, is it? Okay, we can get some clues for neighbor planets so we don't run into issues very quickly. First one is actually quite close by that we need to go to, so let's see if we can ask a few questions about stuff on the routes. Fair warning location revealed. Space time flies location revealed and skunk location revealed. Okay, so I kind of want to avoid that, but I kind of want to know more there as well. Maybe. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's use this to engage ahead towards another planet. Um, fair warning. Uh, I can actually kind of okay with that. And I'll continue one planet onwards. That might not be a good idea. I can always dock there, even though I, I scheduled it to go further. I'm pretty sure I can still dock there. Hotel Lily Nebula. I didn't actually read the planet name. Fair warning. A fellow traveler looks shaken. Seems he was ambushed by a nasty band of pirates on his journey. He'll mark where they were hiding on the galaxy map. Okay, all the way there. If they're openly weeping, you know you've done their job. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I can punch you to the next galaxy. Nothing we know there, so... Uh, Shucky can, okay. French fry fuel. Yeah, cook, donate some old cooking grease for fuel. FTL charges, uh, refills plus two. That is actually quite nice. Um, I'm pretty sure the... I don't actually know what the FTL is. On the top of my head. We'll find out. Uh, we need space kill and vegan mushrooms, so those two are probably stuff we want to add to the shop. Basically here at Zapmart you can uh, get items and add them to your shop, but you then still have to buy them with money you have from the cards you already have, which is kind of strange in a sense, but it's a functional game mechanic. It, it works, it's not... It's kind of strange, but it works. Um, this card gains two power for each silk in your hand and two worth for each ingredient. I could probably use that as well. It's basically a better base card. Okay. Uh, next phase. Let's see if we can buy anything for the captain. We have four bucks from the card worth we have. 
Uh, probably not a good idea to buy uh, ingredient cards for the captain. Uh, silk is actually the best for the captain because you need a lot of power to continue powering your ship. Um, may as well go with the leftovers because other people also need silk. I'll go with the leftovers for now and end this turn. It should be fine like that. So, uh, I, I've actually been attended, I say um, a lot between turn, between doing whatever on the videos recently, so I'm sorry about that. I will try to watch myself not do that because I realize how obnoxious it is. I know I'm doing pretty good with the commentary, pretty much, but that's quite obnoxious sometimes. Vexel, we just fumigated. Where do these things keep coming from? Add a Vexel to your discard. They're basically like nothing cards that destroy money for when you're trying to get stuff. Um, play to draw to. Add one to the answers, the other one to discard or destroy. That's always good. Cook. We don't have stuff to cook, but let's do a taste test to see if we can destroy a card. Uh, not really anything we should destroy. Actually, maybe. It's at least worth something. Oh, well, look, let's de de destroy that. The base cards aren't very useful. You can just get them basically back with leftovers as well if you need anything power wise. I'm gonna buy some Sponsorguk, I think. Because they're also on. I don't really need power that much. I actually need the ingredients here. Let's get some space scale and some vegan mushrooms in here. And end my turn, so we can cook them next time, hopefully, if we get the right cards to do so. Yes, we do seem to get some good cards to do that. Uh, scientist turn, we're basically responsible for upgrading and such. Cosmic Raid! The lab's computer takes a few stray cosmic rays, scrambling one of our research topics. If they're all busted, take one damage. Oh, crikey. Um, that's not... That's, that's not, okay. Um, not really anything I can do to repair it now. You need the uh, engineer for repairs. Uh, maybe you can do some research here. We don't really need a hell pass either. So let's power this up to do some research. Yes, okay. We cannot do any engineering. Oh, Vexwork's donated. We could use that though. Um, he can see all are locked here. Well, you can actually use them, but still, you wouldn't know up front what they are. Uh, otherwise, you can. There's always a few open that you can't see what they are at the beginning, and you actually do have cards as well to see what everything is when the cost to up, uh, like open the stuff is actually really expensive. So it takes less money to like spend uh, to get the stuff you need. Actually, um, play to destroy one card from any player's hand and they draw one. I think flambe is really useful right now, so I'll take that one. Uh, I still have two points left, so I still could take two others. Play this, uh, play to remove this cube's unique molecular structure mimics to any non jump part in the other player's hand. Hmm, that's interesting. And this one does beloved by tongues for far most of the organs. <laughs> Fried fructose, of course. Um, we don't specifically need that, but it's worth a lot, so it's no issue unlocking that for the captain, I think. And uh, then we can unlock one more for this row. Let's do a random one. Fast track. Play with power card to unlock... Oh, great. I couldn't even read that. Thank you. Uh, play with power to unlock a lab research node, adding a new job card to someone's hand. Okay. Okay. In interesting. Interesting. Okay, next phase. I think we're done here. Let's see. You're actually someone who could actually use a lot of power cards as well, but so could the repair man. Uh, let's give you some raw silk here for now and end your turn with that. You don't really need too much worth, I don't think. Engineer's turn. Yes, now we can actually repair some shit. A bad dream. A terrible person has fallen asleep at the wheel when the ship's on a collision course with ours. It's got two power to honk or he clips a ship for one damage. We don't have two power in our hand right now, which is... 99 in the discard, what the heck? Uh, which is annoying, but yeah, we can't do anything about it. We're taking some damage. I could actually directly upgrade that as well, I think. Uh, let's do a trusty wench for... a uh, wrench, not wench. Wrench first. No need to go to the workshop play this with the power to fix broken items from anywhere on the ship. Yes, we actually do need to find some broken items. We have oh, we actually two for that. 
um, for, to repair the lab station from the scientist, but we can repair the shield, so that's fine. Okay, next phase. I don't think we can do anything. I guess we need power that, uh, for that as well. Let's add some sponsor. We could really use that uh, with the engineer because it gives both power and worth. More power actually is actually kind of good for the engineer because you'll run into power issues with him, especially if you get more vexels uh, over time. Bonus card! Yay! We get an extra card. Fright Fructose. Okay. Uh, let's engage. Nothing more we can really do, but I'll only add that card for now because we might run into trouble somewhere. Uh, let's go. That's a skunk. We don't want to go to skunk, so let's go that way around instead. We do take a risk for that as well, as the whole universe is pretty much full with shit. But sure. It's back! The terrifying monster that lives in our vents has found its way into the hall. This card too power to shoo it away or he can't move for four turns. Well, this is why I kept more power on hand. Uh, let's dodge that. <laughs> uh, punch it! Next stop. Hope we don't die, but sure. Eureka! A stimulating encounter has your scientist inspired. A random research note is unlocked from any working lab station. The card goes directly into that player's hand. Nitro preservative. We don't need that ingredient for anything, but still. Uh, your great 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 grandkids are going to love your cooking. Well, I, I do actually hope so, even if it's just in recipes in the real life, but yeah, sure. Okay, that's actually a good card because it's worth a lot and it has all of energy value even if you cannot do anything with it further Okay, let's see what the zap marked here has to offer us. We have a flux inverter played to flip this card's power and worth and return it to your hand works once per turn so You basically could use it to use three power if you need it and if you don't need it You can use it as three worth to boy more shit. It's kind of expensive though. Um, X-ray bone lies a plate to peek at your next four draws. You may destroy one. Uh, interesting. A hall pass is always welcome as a base card, and we can use another flux inverter because there's nothing else we can really pick, and using less than the whole available place is actually kind of stupid. Okay, you don't want to engage further. Next phase, go ahead. Um, okay, what could this uh, person actually use? I don't think we really have silk. We have no silk, so that's not good. We have one ingredient, though. We don't really need worth. Uh, let's give you a hull pass. Everyone kind of needs a hull, pa a hull pass. Anyway, we have already one, but let's go for two on everyone. That's good. Yes. Okay, end turn. Next turn for pretty sure it's the cook that's now going to be on turn. Let's see. Oh, Metroid. It came out of nowhere. The ship takes one damage. Oh, crikey. Some people hate this game for that because it can randomly do you damage and nothing there's any. There's literally nothing you can do. I like my last crew better, but they were all eaten. No point dwelling on it. Oh, crikey. That's cruel. For every two power play with a dozen ingredients from your hand or discard them into the pot. Is to discard any ingredients? No, it's just a flambe. Um. I need a taste test to see if we can get ingredients. Yes, we can! And uh, let's destroy you instantly as well. No need to keep the taste of the future cards. They're just spam cards. Okay, we can cook now if we add two power. And then... Yeah, that's not really useful. Submit and cook or space kale here. Which means we have half of the heffalumps. Finished and ready, we just need the cook the vegan mushrooms um, to get to the next uh, order, to actually complete the order. We could use some post cheddar cheese. We've pushed the boundaries of what can be considered cheese. Uh, yeah, there's literally an uh, electronic cord going out of that. That's, that may not be healthy, but sure. Uh, you can kind of use that. And let's give you the other... No, let's save that for now for other people. Okay, that's it. Continuing on to the turn for the scientist, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, already. Uh, doors busted. A random door is malfunctioning. If they're already busted, take one damage. 
Okay, so the captain can move out of his room now. You will see later why that it would be important sometimes to move people out of certain rooms, but sure. Foresight for every one power plate that has peaked behind one locked research node in the lab. Uh, play with power to lock the nap node. For now, this is kind of more efficient, pretty sure. Okay, so we want to take a stab at either of these here. Don't really want to mimic you yet. Uh, let's try this one. A breakthrough! Play this to reduce labs no... Uh, play this to reduce any character's lab research cost by two. That's really handy because it's getting expensive already. Uh, let's do a foresight as well. Anywhere. Can we do it there? No, that's uh, need to be repaired first. Um, let's do it here. We got the ingredient here, and there we got the ingredient here, and those two still need ingredients to find, so it's either one of the three for the scientist ingredient. Everyone has one ingredient, which of one yellow X we need, which is found in the scientist lab. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. Um, it's either the engineer here, or the scientist, so we could actually kind of uh, uncover here the slots to see if we can find it in the coming turns. Hopefully, because we kind of do need that uh, later in the game. Next phase um, could use a how pass, easy, cheap, and functional. Good, good, good. And now it's the engineer's turn to see if we can repair some shit. No, we can't. Oh, crikey. Metroid, it came out of nowhere, the ships take one damage. Well, that's shit. Nothing we can do, nothing we can repair. Next phase, crikey. That's mean! That's so mean! End turn. Just leftovers. That is shit because your worth starts to go down with those as well. Captain's turn. Okay. Crisis! Technical difficulties! By the look of those sparks, it's safe to assume we have a faulty silk transduce in the workshop. The captain and engineer have two, 12 turns to get there and resolve the crisis, or the ships take one damage. Okay, so the captain and the engineer have to go there to resolve a crisis, but for that we first need to uh, like unbreak that door. Ask around. Oh, we could actually use that quite a bit now. Uh, quite content with asking about the nearby stars. A sure thing. Solar crab. Oh, we kind of need solar crab. Found on a planet. Oh, okay. And there or not, we can go there. Let's ask there. So, technically stealing location. Okay, that's pretty good, I think. Not sure. No, okay, sure. I can do one engage for a single planet towards the sure thing location. I want to keep two powers on backup always when traveling because uh, you can hit events, as you've already seen by now, where you need to spend power to actually get shit done. A sure thing. You ask if anyone's picked up any Zapmar signals nearby. There's an exotic ingredient blueprint being broadcasted not far from here. Could be something you need for today's recipes. Well, that's a tail leaf. I don't think we need tail leaves, actually. <laughs> Chocodillion powder. What? No, we don't need tail leaves. Uh, that's fine. Dock ship. Let's see what the Zapmar has to offer. Please, some cheaper stuff as well. Power glove. Plate to draw two. Allows to use it to hold more than we thought possible. It's always a good one to have. Uh, we do need more poster cheese and vegan mushrooms. Um, hall passes are more useful right now than the, um, than the flux inverter. We already have a flux inverter on here because the flux inverter is expensive and we don't really have much to like make up money yet. So I think we did a good choice there. Uh, next phase, we cannot use the help pass because the door is broken. Uh, we could probably... let's see, we don't really have two help passes. We need leftovers, sadly, and turn. I wish we had some silk from the sat mod there, but we didn't, so that's fine. Chef's turn. Let's see, I wish we can cook here. Cyberpunk, shouldn't have clicked that, a bogus like, um, discard pot sucking a random card from your hand. Oh, I had hoped it sucked the Vexel out, because that would have been nice. Uh, we could cook, but we need two power for that, and we don't have two power. Let's see if we can get two power. Yes, we can! We are so lucky right now! Crikey! Okay, uh, let's cook then, with that power, and submit that to cook the vegan mushrooms. We have a recipe completed! Heffalums are now completed, and that Vexel is kind of annoying, but yeah, sure. 
Uh, we need more post cheddar cheese immediately. Uh, vegan mushrooms is kind of need later, so let's not bother with that yet because we don't have too much money for that right now. But sure, go ahead and continue. Scientist turn. Okay. Doors busted. Another one. We really need a lot to repair here. Crikey. We do have repair stuff here, so we might be able to repair some stuff here. Um, nothing we could actually use except for a hall pass, which we don't need right now. Next. Um, we already have two hall passes. That's going to be leftovers. Oh, crikey. That's not good. That's not good at all. Engineer's turn. Let's repair some shit. Please don't hit me with a thing I have to pay for. Oh, Vexel, really? Yeah, you're not happy with that either. Breakfast is old news. The future is dinner. Thank you for that random comment. Uh, upgrade ship. Don't really need that yet right now. I just need power uh, to <laughs> to do some repairing work here. I could probably uh, repair the shields. I do kind of want to repair that as well. But the captain needs to move there. So that's important. And then shields is kind of important as well. Without shields we won't be alive much longer. Um, I don't have power left to upgrade the ship, so let's continue on and see what we can get here. Uh, allows to draw... play to draw two allows you to use to hold more than we thought possible. Yeah, okay. Could kind of use that, use that with the mechanic, actually. End turn. Nice. Okay, let's continue on to another turn for the captain. Next round of four turns. I'm going to make this the last four turns here, if you don't mind, actually. Because I've already been going for a bit now. Uh, wasting two leftovers here to dodge that. Don't want to have the bad dreams make, make it damage. That's not a good thing. Uh, hall pass towards the workshop. Good. Uh, resolve the crisis. We now kind of need to get back here. But I don't think we can right now. Oh, crikey. Um, I don't know. You can look at the map like that. Next phase. Um, don't need a whole pass, just leftovers, sadly. Okay, next. Wish we could travel here to get some more interesting items for cheaper, but sure. Chef's turn. Play to destroy a card. Oh, crisis, procrastination. According to the stick on a windshield, we are overdue for an old change by a few million light years. <laughs> How long does these creatures live? Crikey. A uh, quick search of the net says there's no big deal, but infrequent tremors we've uh, noticed otherwise. The captain and chef have 12 turns to reach the bridge to deal with this, or the ship takes one damage. Okay, so the chef and the captain have to be here. Okay. A uh, flambe. Play to score one card from any player's hand. We don't really need to cook right now. But we could possibly with a taste test. Let's first see if we can destroy any cards that are shitty. Particularly Vexels. No, we can destroy this leftovers though, that's nice. Because they have no worth, that's nice to destroy. Uh, taste test, maybe, oh crikey, didn't intend to click that. Taste test, uh, keep the hull pass and uh, destroy that one. We don't need that. Um, now let's cook the posted cheese for the vegan meat pie, which is ironic, but sure. Done. Uh, we cooked one of the posters of cheese for the vegan meat pie for next time. Good, good, good! Uh, play to peek at your next for the rolls, you may destroy one. Uh, play to flip this card's power and war, then turn it into your hand. Works once per turn. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that we could actually. Let, wait, let's see. Two worth for each ingredient, that's kind of nice. But it's not very powerful. Um, Expert Bonalizer is probably the best one right now. Let's give you that one. Let's see what the scientist can do right now. No power cards, we can do nothing. Cosmic Raid, again? Two nodes now, crikey. Um, play with power, play this to reduce any character's lap research. We can play that one to reduce the lap research, but that, oh crikey. Um, chefs probably, or a scientist? Scientist because we need ingredient for the scientist row. Uh, okay. <laughs> Uh, next phase, not much we can do here. Uh, five, not much we can pay here either. Uh, whole pass, we already have leftovers. We don't want the vegan mushrooms here, so it's gonna be leftovers again. Crikey! I never thought I was just getting rid of one earlier. Engineer's turn, please. Oh, cold, we cannot repair anything right now. Crisis, loosey goosey. The engineer has his 10 hex fastener. 
lost us 10x faster, sorry. And our actual fan is making some ominous cracking, no cra creaking noises. Crikey, I cannot talk today. The engineer and the scientist have 12 turns to find the fastener in the workshop while the ship takes one damage. Oh boy, um, we can't upgrade the ship though. Hmm. Sure, we can upgrade the ship, that's good. Probably want to upgrade the shield a bit, because that's what's going to run out first. That's going to be it for it right now. Uh, we can buy a hell pass. A hell pass. Why do you say, keep saying hell? Hell pass. Hell pass. Um, hell pass. Yes, we can take that now for the scientist. Um, I mean the engineer. Oh god, I'm mixing things up already. Crikey. Okay. Uh, that was it for today. Let's see where this is going to con uh, continue to. Oh, draw pots busted. Okay, sure. Uh, that's it for today. I hope you guys all enjoyed this game so far. Um, this episode so far. Um, I hope you guys will all enjoy the series that's to come from here. I'm sorry if the quality today wasn't as good for mentioned reasons. Uh, migraines ain't fun. Let's keep it at that. And yeah, that's that's it. Bye.